Shalom, beloved. I'm once again teaching today from the Southern Steps leading up to the temple. I want to share with you today from the book of Psalms, a powerful word of God. I'm going today to the 19th chapter, verse number 14. As I indicated in my previous Seeds of Revelation over the last several weeks, these steps, these southern steps, this is where Jesus taught from. He said things that astounded those that heard him from this very place. Listen now to the words of the King of Israel as I go to Psalm 19, verse 14. Let the words of my mouth, David said, and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. I want you to consider this. Sometimes we think about outward sin. You know, we repent of things that are so obvious in the flesh. You know, people repent of cursing and uh, immorality sexually and, uh, you know, cigarettes and drugs and all these things. And that's all so important. But sometimes once we clean up those outward things, we don't realize that God wants to clean us up. Listen, beloved, at such a deeper level. Listen what David said again. And remember, Yeshua, he was the offspring of David. David, David was, you know, he ministered and, 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 and Yeshua came and fulfilled that calling of the king of Israel. And he ministered right here from these steps. You know, David wanted to build the temple. Solomon, his son, built it. Then it was built again. And Jesus came and ministered from these, this second uh, temple, these southern steps here. Hear what, hear what David said. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. It wasn't just the outer things that David was concerned with. David was watching his words and he was watching what he was thinking about the meditations of his heart. And I want to encourage you and I today, beloved ones, don't just focus on the outward sin. Focus on are the words of your mouth and my mouth pleasing to Hashem, pleasing to God? And are the things that we're thinking about acceptable to Him? He wants to cleanse us at the deepest level. And if we'll be willing to be open to Him and transparent, to allow the Ruach HaKadosh to convict us of our words and of our meditation, we're going to get cleaner and cleaner by the power of the Holy Spirit's washing and regenerating us. And as a result of that, we're going to feel closer and closer to Hashem and to King Jesus. This is Rabbi Schneider saying, pass this on to a friend, and I look forward to seeing you next week.